fine. I think he's not going to end up over here. So Samrat is still concerned. How do I know my factory is doing smart manufacturing? Though he said, I understood this, this I am doing. And if I do some uh, plus and minus into my factory, integrate some of the ideas that you have mentioned. But can I say that this is a smart manufacturing I did? And people are talking about a certification. Is, is there anybody going to certify that my factory is now certified to be in a smart manufacturing factory? That's how the question comes from him. Uh, let's try to address that question as well. So how the factory is yeah, going to be in a smart manufacturing? So, so there are certain key characteristics of a smart factory, so a smart manufacturing. So we have already explained the factory should have an, a connected assets. So these are some of the key characters. If you implemented any of these aspects, you can say that I have done some part of the smart manufacturing implementation into my facility. Then we'll talk about the optimization, the transparency build up, the proactive approach being adopted. Finally, the agility is being achieved. So if you have any of these characteristics implemented into the factory, we'll say that you are moving on a journey towards the smart manufacturing and you have already realized these results and your facility exhibit these characteristics. Let's try to understand because these terms are not even good enough to give you a complete idea. So let me quickly explain what I mean by connected. So certainly we have explained a little bit earlier also. Uh, so when I am a continuous data flowing from my sensors and, and from the equipment from the machines, that's how the connectivity can be established. I will be having a real time uh, collaboration happening based on the data between the suppliers and the customers. So I will be having this item is available. This is not available. What is the demand? I should be able to get that real time information. So I will be connecting my suppliers also onto the same facility. So then we can say that my facility is now connected somehow. Most of the things we are doing these days on the WhatsApp and the mobile device and then applications, but idea is to have an, a structured implementation and then have that real time collaboration happen in a better way. Then other than the suppliers and customer, we also want to have in a real time collaboration happens with the different, between the different departments in the, the facility also. Right now, my production guy don't know about the, the maintenance activity, the process engineering person don't know what are the issues in the production, what are the quality issues. So we would like to build up in a connectivity or I should run a digital thread connecting all these operations or the departments in the facility. And that's how we call it in a connective, connected enterprise or connected manufacturing. Later, we'll say that optimized basically. When I say you will be running at an optimum uh, parameters and the controls. So when I say optimized means I will be able to predict what is my production capacity. So how many numbers I am able to produce today. If I am just deterministic about that, I am reliably say that the 1500 products I can make today, uh, I think I have optimized a lot many things in my facility. So if you come out with a reliable, predictable production capacity, you will certainly uh, optimize your operations. I would like to have an increased asset up times uh, and, and production efficiency. If my machines are giving certain OE, that is an overall equipment effectiveness, uh, so 94% or 90% or whatever desired, I say that I have, I have uh, optimized my operations. I will optimize uh, the, the manufacturing processes and, and the systems are, are basically able to give me that much good up time. We also uh, implemented automated production and material handling systems with a minimal human interventions. That is also one of the characteristics. And certainly I will be able to uh, meet these requirements of quality, cost and delivery. So I will be able to match the quality at the minimum cost and then I will be able to improve my deliveries. I think that is what it is. Transparency, it's more important. So you will be having a live information about the, the systems available to you. Uh, so you will be able to make a uh, right decisions. You will be having a real time linkages to predict the uh, demand of the customer. So customer demand forecast can also be made happen on this. And you will be implementing that uh, the transparent customer order tracking. So these kind of things bring out more transparency, transparency within the facility as well as uh, you're connected uh, with the other people outside the facility. You, you should also have uh, implemented some of the proactive approaches. So just like uh, the system should be able to predict the anomaly as I was explaining during the adaptation process. So you might have implemented some of the systems which will predict the anomaly uh, and then uh, uh, identify the reasons for that and then later on resolution can happen. Your uh, stocks and the uh, warehouses can be replenished automatic. Uh, you will have an, a mechanism that the information was the artist goes uh, out of stock or before it goes out of stock, you will be throwing this information into the system and then system will be taking care of that replenishment. 
you you have an easily and early identification of the quality issues so not only in your factory you would like to identify the quality issues with your suppliers as also so you might have implemented those systems that will help you in in implementing this uh, smart manufacturing and certainly you build up in a good uh, real time safety monitoring in your facility i think these are some of the proactive approaches that you can implement and certainly the agility that that we look forward you will be ready to to implement in a flexible schedule and change overs uh, you will be implementing the production change basically in the real time that can be possible and your this is the last case that's what i say that agility is finally comes with when you implement the last stage of the uh, smart manufacturing means you will make the factory layout configurable basically so you will be able to change the layout for depending on the product and the requirement itself or your factory layout is being designed in such a way that you can do a quick changeover about uh, among the product easily 